Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey, here once again with another video on Peacemaker Season 2. So we know that we are getting creature commandos at the end of this year. No specific month as of yet, it's just the fall has been mentioned by a couple of different people associated with the show. But you'd have to say around, I guess, September, October is probably where they drop it, but or start dropping it, might I say, but we'll find out sooner or later when that's going to happen. Now that of course will be dropping on Max in the States, like the streaming service Max, but one show that should be starting to film around that point of the year as well, maybe a tiny bit later, like maybe in November or December, at least based off reports that we have, you know, that have come out from what some of the cast has said, is Peacemaker. This of course being its second season or season two. Now the filming could get shifted to early 2025, probably just depends on how pre-production and all that goes, but we should expect end of this year based off what has been said so far as I said before. Now Peacemaker season 2 has finished one thing and that is the writing stage which is usually what you'd hope would be done before you start filming. Now James Gunn confirmed he is now done writing. A couple of weeks ago he we, uh, we knew he was heading into the finale episode writing and now that's all done. We know that he's written all the episodes but one thing that is yet to be announced is whether Gunn is still directing all the episodes like was originally planned when season 2 was announced you know, ages ago, because it's been such a long, like what, two years or something? What, or like almost two years, because it was quickly renewed after season one ended. Um, but of course that was, you know, all announced before he took on the role of co-head of DC Studios and also before Superman Legacy was announced and everything like that. So of course that's going to be very interesting to see. If anything, he might just do what he did in season one, which is direct some of the episodes. I think he directed like half or maybe, yeah, I think it was about half of the episodes for season one and the rest were delegated to other TV directors. So that could be the same in season two. He directs maybe episode one, episode two, and then maybe the finale, or maybe he does some of the later episodes, like episodes, well, there's going to be eight episodes. So maybe he does like the final two. And then the other episodes are handled by people that he trusts, like maybe some people that did season ones, or maybe even some directors that he might be looking at to do more TV for him within this new DC Studios universe. But you know, that probably won't be announced until close to the start of filming date, I think, in regards to how, you know, his role in the production side of things, just because it probably depends on how the post-production on Superman Legacy is going. Superman should be done filming by that point, you'd hope, unless there's delays or something, uh, you know, in regards to the times, you know, Peacemaker Season 2 is set to start filming, but the post-production work would still be going on most likely at that point, at least the finer things. Um, so it's just whether he's able to balance that. So we'll wait and see what happens in regards to that, I guess. But I would be surprised if he directs all the episodes, but you know, maybe he really wants to do it. So he makes sure, you know, he's going to make sure that he has the time to do it. So he might delay production starting until he's actually properly done on Superman. So then he can direct all the episodes, but I have a feeling it's probably going to be like season one where he directs some of it and then the rest is handled by some, uh, or he d directs none of it and just does all the writing. But one of the big questions, actually, it's probably the main question when it comes to the second season of Peacemaker, isn't the release date or when they start filming, but what is going on with it canon-wise, as in where the hell is it set? Is it set in the DCEU like season one was, or is it set in this new DCU? And if it's in the DCU, is season one now irrelevant and non-canon and just pointless to rewatch before season two because it's going to have nothing to do with the show? Well, James Gunn addressed that, sort of. He, like, he gives like a pretty fleshed out answer, but it leaves wiggle room at the same time. So some would say it's a non-answer. Some would say it's an answer, but you just have to, you know, watch to get the rest of the answer, if that makes sense. So as you can see here, someone on threads asked this, you said you'll address the universe shift between Peacemaker seasons. So the new DCU is a loose continuation of the universe where Peacemaker season one occurred. A flashpoint like event shifted the season one universe into the DCU with some elements changed and others, example, Peacemaker unchanged, or will Peacemaker season two slash DCU be a completely distinct universe from Peacemaker season one slash Snyder slash Hamada universe with no past or current links whatsoever between the two? So it's a pretty loaded question. And this is what James gave in response. He said, all I can say is what I've said before. Canon starts with Creature Commando slash Superman as to how Peacemaker fits in. You'll have to wait for that. But the first season is worth watching for a multitude of reasons. So my opinion on this is the initial thing is like he's still really pushing the whole thing where the canon of this new DCU starts with, you know, Creature Commando slash Superman. I think Creature Commandos is just going to be this very soft entry into it with some minor references. And Superman is where they really start to world build. But Creature Commandos will be 
like you could probably skip Creech Commandos and have and just feel like you've missed nothing probably but I think it's still probably going to be worth watching if you're really going to be if you really want to be might I say intertwined within this new DCU like I'd recommend watching it even though I don't necessarily know what's going to be within it but I'll be watching it at the very least but this does really make you think are we now entering like some sort of peacemaker multiverse where season one is in its, you know, the former DC EU and now the season two is in the DCU. Because what he's saying there is like the first season is still worth watching for a multitude of reasons because it's involving the characters and everything like that. But it's not any canon that's going to be carrying forward. So it, it's a bit of a, you know, that's what I said before. He gives an answer, but the answer or the rest of the answer is still within Peacemaker season two or season two, might I say, when we start watching it. But one of the things that could be like interesting to keep in mind is that we could get, and I don't know if this would be a James Gunn thing to do, because I don't necessarily know if this is, you know, this is like, a, like he's done like meta stuff in the past, but I don't know if he'd want to be bringing meta things into this, but we could get a bit of a change in the character and a very meta Peacemaker where, or even just like one specific moment in some episodes where he is the only one to remember the events of season one, as well as the former universe, like going, hold on, this guy looks like he's changed as if he's the one that's traveled the multiverse or he's the one that's tra uh, changed the timeline and can rem remember it or something like that. They could even do something silly if they wanted to, where his helmet protected his brain from changing or his mind, like, like, like his memories from changing, things like that. And the characters, the other characters might have say outside of Peacemaker from, you know, going from season one to season two, just have slightly different memories and timeline events. Like their characteristics and them as a whole as characters don't change much. Like they, are, you know, what we knew from season one, but they just change a bit to fit in with the, the changes from the universe in regards to what James Gunn wants to do. And he can even look at the character and go, oh, I wouldn't mind if they were a bit different in here. And he can change them for season two if he wants to. The only thing that goes against this is that we're led to believe that Waller, the Amanda Waller show that's going to be coming out before Peacemaker, we, or it was set to. I don't think it is. It, it, I don't know. It, it probably come at very similar timings, um, at least from what we know so far. But that was set to be a continuation of the events of Peacemaker season one with how Peacemaker season one ends with like Waller getting exposed and stuff. That series is meant to follow that and it's going to have, or from what we knew, know or knew at least before, I don't know if it's going to change, but I guess it would still be the same. Some of the characters from Peacemaker are going to show up in that show as well. So is that show also disconnected or is that going to fall into like the, the change of universe as well? Like those, it's not just Peacemaker that we have to keep an eye out. It's also the Waller show as well, because that plays into the events of Peacemaker season one. So it's going to be a very interesting watch. And like, we could all have our predictions in regards to how it's going to go. But I, I think James Gunn might have a bit of fun with it in regards to how it works and how it plays into it. And whether there actually is an explainer as to why things are like this, or he might just go, yeah, it's just, it's just set in this new universe. So go with the flow. He might just say that and then we'd have to go with it. But I think the main thing with this, and I just sort of hinted at it before, we just have to wait and see how it plays out. Like that's probably just the best way to describe it because we're not the ones that wrote it. We don't know necessarily how it plays into, into, uh, into everything else. And also Peacemaker as a show was very self-contained. So season two might be the exact same thing to the point where it doesn't necessarily have to address which universe it's in because we don't know if, where Peacemaker as a character goes into this larger universe because now James Gunn has all the toys to play with. Before he was very contained with the Suicide Squad and just the Peacemaker characters. Now he's got Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, all of them to play with. So yeah, his mind might be elsewhere and we might not see Peacemaker too much going forward, at least in regards to like mixing with the big boys. It might just be his Peacemaker season three, whenever that happens. And it's always going to be fairly self-contained, but still have its references like season one had. But the last thing to talk about when it comes to Peacemaker season two, and I was talking about, you know, returning characters going from season one into season two and some changes there. Well, we know the other characters that are carrying on from season one to season two, or at least the confirmed ones as regulars at the very least. So the first one, of course, is Peacemaker. Duh. Do we have to mention that? The second is Harcourt. Makes sense. Third, Adebayo. Makes sense. Fourth, Economos. Makes sense. Number five, Vigilante. Makes sense. And the final one, number six, is Eagly. Makes sense. There's no real surprises here. Though we could see someone like Judo Master return as well, but these are all like the the regulars. So characters that you would assume would be in every episode. 
they're the ones that are coming back. And then you might, as I said before, get people like Judo Master, maybe even some other cameos from other characters within this new DCU as well. Uh, but then again, once again, the show might stay self-contained outside of maybe a finale like we saw in season one where the Justice League showed up. So, you know, the season two finale of Peacemaker could have like a funny cameo from Superman or a Green Lantern or Booster Gold, whoever it might be, something fun like that. But that's for us to wait and see when... It eventually comes out because we're probably still, well, let's be honest, we're probably still like at least a year and a half, if not like two years, actually probably like two years almost, like just shy of two years away from this season, probably even airing on screen. So it's probably too early to be thinking, oh, what's in the finale? Because that's ages away. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, it'd be awesome. If you could drop a like on it, show support. Let me know in the comment section down below your various thoughts and everything went over. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.